Hey guys, Bing here. Um, yesterday we modeled this building, so today let's continue. Uh, we're going to model these columns, these ones, which um, follows the building mass. Okay, so let's start. So first, select select this mass, Control C, and HI, and also actually um, we don't need to see this uh, mass as well. So HH. So now. Go modify, paste, align to same place. Okay, so now we have this new mass. Okay, so edit in place, and we need to offset the profile. So O F. So here we need um, a number for the offset, maybe roughly 4.2 meter. Okay, make sure. You uncheck this copy and then move on rotate a little bit so you will see this dash line see the dash line yeah and uh, tap click and tap click tap click okay so now we have uh, here we have a mm, new mass so this mass can be used for the location of the columns okay so click on this mass and divide surface I'll hide the top and the bottom face okay so now select the four divided surface and change the U grid to 2 okay and for the V grid change it to maximum spacing and typing number so for example 9 meter 9 meter so maximum spacing between columns okay so as you can see this edge we have 1 2 3 4 5 this edge we have 3 okay so now so, uh, click on this divided surface and check the nodes same check the nodes and check the nodes and check the nodes okay so now we're going to create a new family generic model adaptive and place one point go to a side view copy it one two and select them make adaptive spline reference line and place another point draw on face and place it on this line and reference circle draw a work plan set work plan pick this work plan and draw a circle click on here to create a radius parameter select this uh, parameter sorry sorry radius uh, dimension and then select this dimension create a radius parameter and okay so I'm going to change it to 500 okay so select uh, this, the reference line together with the point and this radius dimension CC copy it and select this point pick new host place it here and one two three and create form and then select this point change it topping type it top in one and this point type in oh sorry type in zero okay so now this will be our column and then I'll just create a, a material parameter and okay and okay so you can have a test here so if I move this point right Control Z 
now let's load this family into the project and place it on this uh, divided surface so one two three um, one more one two and three one more one two and three last one one two and just make sure you place on the right uh, point okay and then select this called family and repeat and this one repeat and this one repeat and this one repeat so we just need to this overlapping the columns overlapping here so we just need to delete one so one two and this one and this one okay so that's that's all now if i finish mass and hr so you will see um, all the columns are placed um, roughly 4.2 meters from the edge so yeah change it to shade and see all the columns are in the right correct location so this is actually this is the first um, method I'm showing you so um, it's easy to to place a column but uh, if you change the so for example, for example if you change the the building mass if you uh, change yeah if you change the, the shape of the building you probably it's a little hard to adjust because you need to manually adjust the second mass to match so it's probably easier to just to do it again but um, tomorrow I'm going to show you another way to do it so instead of um, create this new mass I'll just let me just hide it EH okay so instead of create a new mass I'm going to place all the columns onto this mass with a um, with an off offset okay so so let's let's do it let's 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 try that method tomorrow but today uh, um, that's it for today okay um, yeah let me know if you have any question I'll see you tomorrow thank you bye oh hang on let me sh turn this uh, columns back okay cool so that's it Thank you. Bye.